Targeted towards the anniversary of the 1979 Islamic Revolution in Iran. Uh, specifically, I think we'd like to start by asking you how it affected you in 1979. How did you receive the success of an Islamic revolution as a young student in the university? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> Uh, it, remember before the success there was this uh, uh, uprising which uh, dominated uh, the, the news in 1980 prior to the success uh, we, were, we were young students I was uh, 20 age at that time so uh, in, in those days in our universities, this there was uh, a, what I may call ideological warfare uh, between us and other people. Uh, there, are, there, there was dominant of uh, communist ideology. That uh, it was a sign of being a progressive and you know uh, wise and maybe educated and uh, the modern to identify, identify oneself with communist ideology among students and lecturers particularly in the faculty of arts and social sciences so uh, in, in 1980 we you know we, you know we started to hear about uh, uh, this uprising in iran at the time, the Imam was in in France at that time, and you know, at, at that time, I was talking about the communists who were asking for change in the communist way, and there were our, ourselves who are saying that the future should be Islamic, and there were those who were satisfied with the status quo. So this tug of uh, out of so ideological warfare came at it at that time they, some people were thinking that Islam was a sin of the past. In fact, uh, there was a time when we we had an, a symposium uh, with, uh, talking about the future of the country should be Islamic. And some people replied as that Islam has ruled the world, but it was in all, all the time. It is now a sin of the past. It is just uh, a you know, matter of history, meaning that it will, it will no longer come back then there was this uprising in, in Iran and it dominated the news. Our, our source was mainly the Western press. At that time, this uh, time, time and news of magazines, the, 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 the television at that time, you know, and everything, you know, focus on in Iranian news, you know, on the cities and the, you know, demonstrations was, and then showing the Imam. Uh, at that time, people were calling him Ayatollah, Ayatollah, Ayatollah. In fact, they thought Ayatollah was a name. It was a letter we come to understand it was a title. There were many other Ayatollahs apart from himself. So at that time, you know, it, 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 it makes us, you know, it boosts our morale and it makes us feel that what we have been yearning and aspiring is realizable. It's possible since it has been realized elsewhere. The, the success of the revolution was, uh, you know, a, a, a turning point in in modern history. It, 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 it changed our thoughts, not only ourselves. It even changed the thought of other people about Islam. And but the, those who are calling for communist communism also it changed their thought. You know, they, this this uh, those calling for, for communism were against uh, Western capitalists uh, led by U.S. And this is a man who has uh, not only shown finger to, uh, in their own face, but even has touched their nose, <laughs> even, has even slapped their, their face. So, it, 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 you know, it, 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 it became a hero even to other people, not only to the Muslims.
And remember, in, in Nigeria, particularly in northern Nigeria, we have a history of a change toward a, uh, in, in Islamic change, I might say, 100 years before the coming of the colonialists. And it has been the yearning and aspiration of our people to return to what we have lost to the colonialists. And this is, what, this is why immediately when we heard about the revolution, it was very easy for a common people on the city to understand it. In the, the, the picture of Imam, you know, has sent a message to all the people. They were just simply lacking him was Sheikh Osman and Bodil, you know. And proportionately, the first picture of Imam we have seen was a picture of himself making a huge frustration, you know. And there are so many other pictures. It, it, you know, every, every, everywhere you will see a picture of Imam fasted and, you know, it was cut from, from magazines and newspapers, you know. So it, the, the, the impact was tremendous. It changed our thought completely. It not only ourselves, the, even others, it has changed their, their thoughts. Even non-Muslims, it has changed their thoughts about Islam. And, uh, you know, it's the truth is simple. It boosted our morale. Okay, well, because that, that is my next question. I was going to say, how has it, what kind of impact has it had on you? Uh, so you've been calling for uh, uh, shunning immorality even in, on the campus uh. and uh, championing the cause of Islam even on the campus, even before the Iranian revolution. Yeah, that's true. So, how has that? impacted on you. Yeah, that's true. Uh, immediately, we have seen a symbol, you know. Uh, before we had a historical symbol, now we have a living symbol where uh, we can humiliate. Now, it, it shows that this, this is in a modern time, you know, because people used to think, how can Islam be practiced in modern time? Now we have a symbol, but model to copy. And Alhamdulillah, a copy of someone who is, who is uh, a living embodiment of what he was calling for, and who was, he himself was emulating the, 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 that of Amir al Mu'minin, alayhi salam. Uh, you know, so that in, 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 in a way, you know, makes us to feel that now we have. Uh, and a, a symbol that we can emulate. We have a mentor. We have uh, someone who we can say this is a leader. We have you know the Islamic world has been calling for teaching for a leader. Now it has one. Alhamdulillah. And uh, what is more, maybe you have a comment that I was fortunate to be among those who were. In Iran, they still celebrate the past anniversary of the victory of the Islamic Revolution. Past anniversary, uh, January, February, nineteen eighty. So, so I was I, I was fortunate to be there um, to to see a lot of things. I will talk about that later. <laughs> how 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 does the Islamic Revolution? affect not just the Middle East but the rest of the world, including Africa, the rest of the world, mm -hmm. including Africa. Well, in, 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 it, it has, in, in, in the same way I have said, it has changed our thought when we were students. It has also changed the thought of the world. It has, was the main focus of news in the Western press. The West itself, uh, you know, was, 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 you know, was, was taken unaware as I read on one one um, uh, magazine called Reader's Digest, they said that uh, Khomeini seized Iran and shook the world. <laughs> you know, the, the, the world was shaken. At the end of the they were thinking that Islam was uh, like uh, a dead person. You know, so, you, you know, when someone is dead and you, you, you see it, him as a corpse, when all of a sudden, the cops rise up. You will definitely be uh, you, you afraid. You will be shocked. How can a, a dead person rise? Because they were thinking that Islam was a thing of the past. 
Now seeing it in a modern time really it changes their perception. Change the perception of the people around the world in, in, in not only uh, Muslims but even non-Muslims. I can remember I've been, I've been saying this word many times that when Sheikh uh, 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 then a president of uh, the Islamic Republic, visited uh, North Korea. The president of North Korea, Kim Il Sung, then was saying to him that uh, we used to think that Islam, sorry, not Islam, religion, we think that religion was an opium of the people. But you are religion, you Iranian religion showed us it is, uh, it, is, it is not an opium because it is the same religion you use to wake people up. You know, opium means something which makes people sleep. Then, uh, you know, so that you, say you can turn them the way you like. But uh, it is the same Islam, which is a religion, which now it's used to, you know, to, to, to wake people up. To, it, it, it was an instrument of the revolution. It was an Islamic revolution. And uh, a lot of people were thinking that how can Islam be practiced in this modern age? I can remember some someone among the critics were saying that how can how can you take something which is, which has been practiced uh, or, 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 or one thousand or around one thousand four hundred years ago and bring it to the modern time? You can now instead of uh, you know traveling by air. In aeroplane, you, you should you should you, you should be traveling on top of camel. Well, what they do not understand is that Islam uh, is is for all time. Uh, it's not limited to the time of the past. It is for all time. And if one says it is a thing of history, now it has been practiced in modern day. So it uh, not only affects the thinking of Muslims, it affects also the thing the thinking of non-Muslims. I can remember also Kul Warham, then Secretary General of the United Nations, two times Secretary of the US, Secretary General for 10 years. He said that he, as a Christian, was proud of a religion because of the Israeli revolution made him to feel proud of his own religion. You know? So, that, that, in fact, that is the point of my next question. And, okay. and the next question is that. The, the, the people I spoke to and many others, not just these two that I spoke to today, found the Iranian revolution interesting. They were not Shia Muslims, oh. they were Sunni Muslims, but it appeals to them. And so many, you've given the former cop oh. as an example. There are so many other people that found the Iranian revolution interesting and yet they are not Muslims, and yet they are not here. How does it transcend Islam? It's not just an Islamic, so it is not just an Islamic religion. That's it's what it's I'm just a revolution, yeah, it is a revolution, indeed a revolution. Uh, as I've said, it, it affected the, also the communists, the communists, uh, you know, were, were interested in it. After all, they have one common uh, rival, as a, the, the Western capitalism. Now, this is the, the Islamic revolution has affected them in that way. You know, uh, Peter Castro, you know, was has, has shown his support, and so many, you know, communist countries showed their support, and also all the Muslims showed their support at the beginning. The one Shia only came later. It's, a, it's an instrument to fight the revolution. Nobody was talking about Shia at that time. It was seen only simply as it's an, it's an Islamic revolution. You know, targeting it as a Shia came later. You know, when they were I, when they saw that they should, they should they should fight the influence of this revolution outside. But uh, at the beginning, the the West wanted to destroy the revolution. When they were unable to destroy it, they now sort of wanted let us prevent it from being exported to other people. To other nations, and one of one one instrument of fighting that is to now tag it that it's, it's, it's a separate Islam, not the Islam you know. So the idea of Shia Sunni, 
it started they started to show that but in, i remember in my in my lectures when i came back from iran i was saying that you know, people is to talk a lot about shia 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 but we found that the, the, the iranians don't speak about that they simply think, see themselves as muslims and even no muslims participated in in demonstrations against the the, the former regime so the, the 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 idea of shia sunnah was actually coined invented in order to fight the revolution but it was it has tremendous effect on all muslims we hear we hear only saw it as an islamic revolution and nothing more nothing less and others saw it as a revolution for calling for social justice even even, even when they are not muslims is it exported? Yeah, it has been exported already. <laughs> if it, the, uh, to, to borrow their word, actually, uh, we, we, we are only borrowing their words. Otherwise, Islam is for all. It's not. You cannot t t speak of import or export. <laughs> it, it it has been with us. We are Muslims, and the same Islam is uh, you know is, is the same Islam. If, if, whether the enemy like it or not, by fighting us to divide us into. Uh, sex and uh, different camps they are just wasting their time because it is the same islam after all so here like i, like I was saying that we had a revolution which took place 200 years ago and immediately people saw imam khomeini they just like him it was uh sheikh, sheikh osman bin Fodi because they they, 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 and, and it's e easily they understood the message of the Islamic revolution. You need to, you don't need to take long time to convince an average Muslim here in this country about a, a revolution. They will, they understand. We have lost this uh, our own sovereignty to the the colonialists. The colonialists come and in, impose a system upon us, and we have it has been the yearning and aspiration of our people to go back to what we had, have inherited from our forefathers. And certainly it is possible, it has been possible elsewhere. And what is more, uh, it is defined and practiced in the modern time. So you don't need to, to even think of how can it be possible to us to practice the teachings of the prophet uh, which was thought one thousand four hundred years ago, over one thousand four hundred years ago. Now it is in, in, in practice elsewhere, and you can see it practical. Whether they like it or not, it has come to stay. The Shia of Iran, Shia Reza Talavi, was uh, very brutal, he was corrupt, immoral, the regime was uh, not uh, this thing. And I, I read somewhere, and it says that. Um, the many Iranians saw him as uh, saw the Ayatollah as Imam Hussein, well, a symbol of like what happened to Imam Hussein and, and uh, the Shah as Yazid. So there is clearly uh, a point of reference that is uh, based on uh, major Shia ideology in that. Yeah, uh, the, but, but it wasn't. It wasn't the reason, as you have of course said, that it's not the reason why the revolution took place. But some sections of Iran saw it in that light because of the prevailing circumstance in Iran under Shah Reza Pahlavi, and then uh, the idea Ayatollah came along and thought. This, this social injustice and all this corruption must be, must be done away with. And everybody identified with that. So, so there is definitely, what I'm saying is there is definitely a connection. There is a, there is a, a, a connection between uh, this and the, and the revolution. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I, I might say that, that uh, the, the 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 background in Iran was so uh, what would I say it was it, it it was conducive for such kind of revolution 
because uh, they are, I, I might say, I can use the word lucky. They are so lucky <laughs> to have a symbol of evil. That symbol, that's, that's, that symbol was one man for uh, Muhammad Riza Fahlawi. Muhammad Riza Fahlawi symbolizes everything evil. He was uh, a puppet of uh, Western regimes. He has sold the wealth and honor of the people of Iran to the West. He was corrupt. He was immoral. He was he, he symbolized everything. So simple, uh, one word they used to, they used to say in their slogan, death to the Shah. Death to the Shah. Marak Bar Shah. Marak Bar Shah. Uh, was just, Shah was simple, just symbolized everything. All they need is the Shah must go. But with going of the Shah, the Shahism also went. <laughs> you know, the, 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 it was called a Shah of Shahs, the King of Kings, Shah in Shahia. The Shah in Shahia uh, also the, a system, symbolized a system. That system went along with him. So he was a symbol of that, and the, you know, with, 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 with his going, the, the system also went away with him. Now, as you said, rightly said, then there's another symbol. This symbol is a symbol of justice. This is a symbol of uh, uh, pu purity. You know, uh, as I was, I, I was told by someone, he said, when Imam was arrested, the chief of uh, security was speaking with him with all respect. He was saying that, oh, or sa, you know, say, you know, you are, you are poly man. You are good. Why do you involve yourself in politics? Get away of all this politics. This politics is not for, it's not for good men like you. It's not for holy men like you. And he was saying that they like like me. He was he, he rubbed himself. They had the chief of security. <laughs> he said he was doing. He mentioned many evils that he was doing. He was, <laughs> he was doing this and that. I wouldn't say it in his own words. You know, he was saying, I, I, I am doing this, that, that, that. Oh, he mentioned so many evil things which he, he was doing. He said, but you are holy man. You are not, you know, you are not part of this. So keep away from this politics. The Imam said, have you finished? I am not, that, that, that politics you are talking about, I leave it to you. It's up to you. I'm talking about the politics of Amir al-Mu'min. Alayhi salam. <laughs> so, and also the Imam was asked, uh, how would you implement Islam in, in this in, in this? He said the prem, our only frame of reference is the time of Amir al -Mumin. So he, he symbolized also as the right to say he symbolized Hussein as the Shah symbolized Yazid. So they have seen these two symbols. And also, the, you know, it has been very difficult for us here to show people similar, similar symbols. If they can understand a, a, a symbol of uh, holiness, all right, the symbol of evil may be difficult for them to understand. So we were, because we are talking about system, system, the system is bad. And people were thinking that, you know, uh, you know, in, in Nigeria, you know, you keep on changing uh, governments. One president will come, another will go, one president. So in, in, in Iran, they have this uh, monarchy where one man rules until his death. So he becomes a symbol. Here, we, we, in other, other places, we hardly have similar symbols. Even if you say this man should go, after some time, he will definitely go. And another dictator will come. <laughs> He might come in in, 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 in white colors. Soon, soon he will change the colors and become uh, as, but, uh, another symbol. If they can understand the symbol of that evil, like uh, right, the, the Imam rightly called uh, U.S. He said America is Shaitan al Akbar, the greatest Shaitan. <laughs> you know, and they also apart, apart from Mark Bashar, death to Shah, they are saying also death to America. 
this to America, this to America. You know, this, this, this to America was even become in the voice of everyone in Iran. It, it, this to Shah, this to America. So people may, may, may begin to understand how the, the, the evil is symbolized with the Western regime, which support every puppet they, they impose in other uh, places. And like, uh, you know, awareness about the operation of, uh, against him, uh, the, the, the family of the prophet is it's, it's not our people. It's not only, only, only limited to Shia Muslims. It is, it is in, 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 in our area, every Muharram, they, they read a book. Many houses, these houses, uh, uh, you know, they, they have been they have been doing it for many years. There's a house uh, in Zaire, for example. They call it the, the house of uh, Zagi Zagi. Zagi Zagi means the people Zik, Zak, Zak, the people of Zak, Zak. Even though I'm not from that house, all right. <laughs> but the, 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 the house has been there. They have been doing Ashura reading Ashura book for about six hundred years in that city. They originally came from uh, an, uh, an area called Benghazi, in what is now Libya. Yeah. And they maintained, maybe they were Shia, but uh, with time they forgot being Shia. But they, re they read the book from the time of coming out of Imam Hussein from Medina up to the, what happened in Karbala. Similar book is read in many houses. Uh, in that area, there, are, there is also another house called the House of Al Hazawa. They have been doing it for years. And they, 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 every Ashura day, they would meet and cry. And when they were asked, why do we say this? Our forefathers told us to do so. We should cry. There's another, there, there, there is another house called Use of Power, the Use, use Peace, <laughs> also in Zaria. Also for many years, you know, for at least 200 years, they have been doing it. And so on. And so forth. So the, 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 the Mazulumia of Ahl Bayt is not our people even though they may not be Shia. So it is very easy when, when, when you remind them, you know. You know I, could, I remember some people from that UCP house, they came to me, they said that they, they were celebrated, they, they read this book about Aushara, but the only problem is for them, also they uh, cook delicious food at the same time. <laughs> they cry and then they, they also celebrate, you know. And then, but now they say, they said that our demonstrations, our, our, you know, the way we told, we told them that they are not supposed to be happy on that day. They are supposed to cry only. You cannot cry and be happy at the same time, you know. So, with, with Ash, Ashura, which used to be celebrated before, uh, as Banu Umayya made it a, a day of, uh, a, 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 a day of celebration, I don't I say, a day of happiness. But now it has changed easily. It's changed easily. Now it is no longer people see it. Even the Wahhabis, even the Wahhabis now, they say that it's not the day of happiness and it is not the day for cry. <laughs> Whatever it is. But what I'm trying to say is, uh, even though people may not be Shia, but if you remind them about what happened to Imam Hussein, they can easily understand it. Because Imam Muslim for, for, is for all Muslims, even non-Muslims, if it, you tell them about the oppression of what, what was made to, to the, this family, and the, the, the uh, fields of Karbala, you find that it will change his thought. What is, what is the point of this agreement between you and the Nigerians that you talked about um, uh, uh, Ayatollah Khomeini? getting, according to that security chief, getting involved in politics. In politics, yeah. You are a religious leader, a prominent religious leader. What is the point of this agreement between you and the Nigerian state? What is it about, you are vocal. What is it that you say that is a threat to the status quo? I, I, if we can, we can just get at that. The simple, uh, we are saying that we, we at, at least in this part of the, this country, I didn't say all the whole country, 
you know, the colonies came undivided uh, as the way they wanted. But uh, we have no such borders as between Nigeria and Niger. Uh, it's just one simple, single nation. They divided uh, us into nation states as they wish. You know, and this part of the world, this part of the, uh, uh, the country has been together with, uh, with, with, with other parts. And it, uh, there has been a system before called Islam. The colonialists came. They colonized us. They will not impose a different system. What call it anything? That, but you cannot ne never call it Islam. It is not Islam. Now what do I say that we are going back to that same Islam? And people think it is it is not possible. And we feel okay, if it is not possible, we are just calling, we are not we are not fighting. We do not take take even a stick. Why the fear? The authorities think that they have to depend the status quo. And they think, they think our call is a threat to the status quo, all right? We don't have a symbol like uh, the Iranians have of a Shah, <laughs> you know, but we talk about the system itself, system itself. Whoever comes to govern is only continuing with the colonial legacy, whether military or civilian, it is the same colonial legacy. And as long as colonial legacy continues, will be subservient to former colonial masters. We can never we, we can never be independent unless we have our own system, different from their own. And we have already. That's Islam. And the, the, the state, rather because they are puppets to those colonial masters, you know, they listen to the colonial masters. I know all the attacks against us has been uh, ordered from those, those their masters. Now they have another master in form of United States, which is the, the, the leading the, the, the Western capitalist system. All the attacks on us have been ordered from them. You know, otherwise, we, we don't see any reason why, you know, uh, uh, a, a, a government will send an army to attack its own people. And continue to murder people mercilessly, men, women, and children, for three consecutive days. You know, nobody can understand this. That's because it's an order from their masters. Their masters think that ever since after that revolution, they want they do not want similar things to happen anywhere. And that's why you see a type of Muslims everywhere, because they think that that cannot happen again. But they are making a mistake because they are fighting with different people. You know, uh, we are not taking arms to shoot anybody or to kill anybody. We are talking a right. And this message gets to the people. And you cannot destroy an ideology with God. So we, or we would say time without number. You cannot destroy truth with God. If you say, think, they think that, that this awareness has, has, has been growing among the people, they, can, they should ask themselves why? Why is the whole awareness? Why is it that our people have uh, become aware? And what is more, they have been perseverant and they have, they, they have been growing in number and they have been perseverant. You know, and they have been consistent. Why? Because it is their own conviction, it is on their will. You know? And you cannot destroy that belief with force. Uh, and the po 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 uh, uh, truth cannot be fought, except with falsehood, isn't it? <laughs> you cannot, there is, the truths are not two, so that you cannot fight truth with truth, because the, the truth is only one, and they know very well. So that's a, to put it simple, you know, uh, the, it is, the, 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 if you look at it, we, we have never attacked anybody, we have been attacked several times. Because they, they, they fear that what we are calling is also possible. And the, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, last attack upon us, you know, if the, this government didn't say it, at least they, they said it in a, in a way. Uh, the, 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 the president was interviewed immediately after the attack. 
He said that uh, Zed Zaki has formed a government within a government. Meaning he has his own government and Zed Zaki has another government. Well, uh, when one professor of history, uh, Professor Abmasi on him, he passed away last year, around this time. He said that this is exactly what Bao uh, Zongorzo, uh, the king of Bovir, said to Shia Osman bin Kodi. You know, form a government within government, you know. Just in the same way uh, uh, the king of Gobir saw Shehu as a threat to his own authority. That's how the, the Nigerian president see, oh, he was meant to see. <laughs> because I don't think he himself can see it. But he, he was meant to see that this is this man is a threat. And then the king, the son of the king of Saudi Arabia said it clearly. That it is, he said it was counted this as part of his achievement. That he, he said he has prevented uh, a, a Hezbollah type of movement in Nigeria. You know, this well, he destroyed a Hezbollah type of movement in Nigeria and prevented his leader Zakzaki from forming a government similar to that to the Islamic uh, uh, government of Iran. You know, we were asking these people whether what he was saying was true because he counted attack on us as part of his achievement. Because we, what we, those we, who attacked us were the Nigerian army, not Saudi army. Was, was it that this man was made to pay, to pay you for, to do the job? Up to today, they did not answer us. So if, if they hide their own, uh, uh, reason, their own mission, at least this man has exposed it. Their fear is that we, the same similar revolution will take place here. What they, it is, they are making very big mistake because the revolution, uh, you know, they cannot prevent it the way they have tried. They can only boost it, and it will definitely happen one day. Even now, as they, they prevent us from going out, <laughs> some of them were narrowly the way they, 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 they are not really thinking. They are saying. If this man gets out, he will come back in the same way uh, Ayatollah Khomeini went back to Iran in 1779. So, I said, this, this is ridiculous. How do you think that it's happened that way? The revolution of Iran did not happen by Ayatollah returning in 1779. It, it was a continuous struggle for 100 years. Which culminated in, 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 in the success of 1979, which means the revolution, the struggle started much earlier than that, since 1879, you know, for 100 years before success. So it's not, it didn't happen just, it didn't happen just at the airport <laughs> when, when, when the Imam returned to, 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 to Iran. Oh, it's, 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 when you're aware, it is continuous struggle for years, for decades. Thank you very much, Sheikh. I don't know if you have any other message. <laughs> okay, there was, was something I said earlier. Yeah. I need to explain it on that. I was in Iran. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, I mentioned that. I said I was yes. in Iran. Yes. I was fortunate to be in Iran for the first anniversary. 1980. In, in 1980. And uh, we also saw the Imam. Uh, at that time, he was in hospital, but uh, they, 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 they gave us the opportunity to see him. And he spoke with, uh, you know, low voice because he was sick. See, because of the, the importance is attached to a guest coming from different parts of the world. He came and addressed us. And uh, also, we visited the, the American embassy. <laughs> At that time, the, the students were there and the hostess were there, but they chose some few people among us to allow them to go and see the hostess. But I, I was not among the people. But those who, one, one Nigerian was among them. We went together. He was allowed to go. We were three from Nigeria. One, one of us uh, went, an architect. And, you know, so also uh, we, we saw what we saw. You know, I was 
I was deeply touched by what I said. I've said, particularly the gathering on that 11 February uh, 1980 at the Beach Bahara Cemetery. You know, seeing people as much as my circles, all speaking was one voice, all was heart of one man. It made me to cry a lot. You know, when I came back. Uh, I, th I just don't, don't see the reason why our people cannot wake up that way. You know, some people think it is not possible. It is possible. This people, our people also have been made to sleep. They can be, if they wake up, the same spirit can be, can, can you know, can be uh, awakened in, in, in them. And uh, it, you know, so, so you know, I could remember giving talk also in different areas about what I saw in Iran. As in the University of Lagos, when I came back, I, was, I landed in Lagos. Uh, then I went, we went to, I went to Ibadan also, Mapohol. I gave a talk up at, about what I have seen in Iran. Back in, in, in Zaria, I gave a talk in Abu, in which pe so many people, you know, gathered to, to, to listen to the extent that I could remember some people trek from the city. Because there were some students from Al Huda Huda College who trekked from Zaire City to the Samur campus of Ahmad Bell University, a distance of about, uh, and possibly about 12 kilometers. Well, they trek up to, you know, just to listen. Some people were even supposed to say they want to see that man who has, has always gone to Iran. And you can see this show the way, you know, that, that has impact on them. Uh, and also, we, I, I had, a, so we call it film show. It was, I came with some slide. This was a slide show about the revolution, and a lot of people come to see that slide show, and including non-Muslims, of course. You know, and also I went to other areas, Bayer University, University of Maiduguri, and other places, all to get talk about what happened in Iran. All right, so. This has also, you know, awakened people a lot, particularly in student cycles, because all my talk were, apart from the Mapohol, even Mapohol in Ibadan, all other talk were all in universities and with students and in English language, whatever. You know, uh, then I, I, at one time, I thought that I have to speak to the people in the city also, with Hausa. Then, of course, at the beginning, so, so people, people were, you know, I could not understand what I was saying <laughs> because, because I was saying they, 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 were, they accepted uh, the then government, the civilian government, which came in 79 also. You know, in 79, there was a type of civilian rule and they were happy. Uh, the military have gone and then now a civilian president, <laughs> you know, and a Muslim, you know, and you know. Uh, no, they, they could understand somebody coming to say that that's not what what we should be doing. It is Islam, Islam, which they cannot understand. But no, Alhamdulillah, things have changed with years. <laughs> things, things, have, things have changed. They have now tested all the all the civilian governments. <laughs> they are looking for, for an alternative. <laughs> they have tested military and civilian, and they are now testing civilian. Change. Well, <laughs> <laughs>